Great good morning officers. I Sumit Kumar Singh present in front of you from a current of a topic. A one nation, one ration card. We will discuss this topic, a recent report which is presented by the Consumer Affairs Ministry, uh, Dr. Ram Blas Pasman. So let us start. Uh, one nation, one ration card. What is one nation, one ration card and how it uh, was implementing right now? What's its benefit? So let us start. First, we will see the star point. Union Minister for Consumer Affairs, Union Minister for Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Food and Public Distribution, Sri Ram Vilas Paswan talks on the One Nation, One Rasan card. He is presenting, he is talking on many issues on which I uh, point out one important issues of One Nation, One Rasan card, its implementation, its effect are it's uh, how it was improving uh, for the poor and vulnerable sections lifestyle so let us start short and sweet summary and uh, short and sweet report related to one nation one last regard so for star point one now a total of 24 state and union territories are connected under one nation one ration card discounts so, uh, uh, in all UT and union territories and states, almost 24 states are now connected with the One Nation, One Ration Card schemes. So, it is uh, important star point on the report. Now, in point number, uh, star point 2, 65 crores and 80%, 65 crores and 80% of total NFSA population. You have to remember it, 65 crore and 80% of the total NFSA population is potentially enabled for receiving food grants anywhere in their states and UTs. So it is important things to note here that almost 80% of the NFSA population uh, are able to get the food or able to receive food grains of their own parts anywhere in the 24 uh, UT which are connected with the One Nation One Ration Card schemes and uh, if there were uh, any persons who are living in these 24 states or union territories then they can take their food grains from anywhere of the 24 states and union territories of India. Now start point 3 uh, remaining states in UT will be integrated in national uh, portability by March 20. Uh, so, uh, in the year March 2021, so all states are going to be included or all states are going to be integrated in the uh, this in this scheme by the March 2021. Now, the last but not the least important point is states shortly implement this scheme so that. The ration card holders will get their shares of the food grains without any delays and difficulties. So he is also requesting uh, some, so that the implementation of this scheme One Nation One Ration Card will boost up or, or um, will very quickly manner it should be implemented in all over all across the India. So all states, uh, it, the probability of uh, including or integrating by March 21, but states uh, shortly implement the states are shortly implementing this schemes, uh, so that all uh, card holders of uh, under the NFSA schemes or NFSA populations, so they will get their share anywhere or any part of the country where they are received, uh, uh, seen, uh, recently or presently so without any delays or any difficulties so these are the important four points related to one nation one card it's a short and sweet uh, summary and reports which is protected by the union minister for consumer affairs and food and public distribution Sri Ramila Swasma so short and sweet summary report on a one nation one report card it's my channel Magad Putra like share and subscribe it for daily current update point by summary and up to dates like it share it and subscribe it thank you have a great day